some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in New York City with one of Vampire Dave's little arrest buddies as he attempts to, well, complain about an officer on his uh, personal cell phone, but uh, ends up getting butt hurt in the process and wants to uh, do a citizen's arrest on the police officer. But it really goes nowhere. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Can I have your name and your badge number? And also your business card? Can I have your business card, please? You don't have one? You know you're not supposed to be on your personal phone, right? Well, I am. So. Yeah, you're not supposed to yeah, do well, that. I am. Oh, this is on your personal phone? Yes. Do they give you guys yes. work phones for that? Yes. You're not supposed to do well, that, sir? I am. Well, I am. You are? Yes, I was. And you're a police officer? Yes, that's that's right. how you yes, just break right. policy? Yes, I was a one. Could you call your supervisor then? No, I can't. I want to speak to your... Yeah, also, I would like a citation for this uh, alleged policy that you're talking about because, well, you frauditors tend to lie and not show any citations. And if you do have a citation, it's usually uh, quote mind. And, uh, well, that kind of makes you untrustworthy to begin with. So, in other words, put up or shut up. Put your money where your mouth is, or uh, kick rocks. You can't. So this is this is how. No, nah, I don't do those. Yeah, you could. I, I do. A, I go a little bit go higher. Go high. Go as high as you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you call your supervisor? No, I can't. You're here breaking uh, NYPD policy. That's all right. So can you please call your supervisor? No, give me your business card. No, I need your business card. I don't have it. It's a law. I don't have it on me right now. I give you all out. Okay, so you could report me. You want me to give you the number to CCRP? Could you write down your badge number, please? You got a piece of paper? I don't. You're yeah, supposed yeah. to have a business card. I know. I left it in. I don't have one. I give them up. So you don't follow the law? No, I don't. So why don't you have a business a card? Right to know act. It's a law. It's an official law. It's a policy. It's a right to know act. Yes. By New I York gave State. you my information and you got it and you got my badge, six and that, six and that, and you're recording me and I'm recording you as well. Right. Yeah, for auditor, uh, one less business card isn't going to make that big of a difference in your collection. I mean, I'm sure just like uh, some of the other New York frauditors that they all have enough business cards in their collection to wallpaper one of the rooms in their houses just so they can have a shrine to every cop that they've ever encountered in New York City. It seems kind of creepy to me, but hey, everybody's got some hobby. I mean, some weirder than others. So I don't know why you're you the one breaking the wall. That's okay. So can I just... That's all right. You with this guy? This guy's breaking the wall. Come over here. Don't worry about it. You have a business card? Because that's, that's what I need now at this point. I need a business card. He doesn't want to give me... No, I don't have one. I don't have one to give you. You can't I'm just sorry. break the law. When I'm you're sorry. breaking the law, you're I'm supposed to... I'm sorry it bothers you so much. I don't have one to give you. Yeah, but you can't do that. I'm sorry. You can't it's just okay. Give. I don't have one. So don't report me. I don't have I don't have a card. Somebody was just breaking the law. If they was driving, switching lanes. It's the same. It is it's the same. The same. No, it's the not. same. It's a no, law, sir. So go sue me. It's a law. So go sue me. I'm going to hold you accountable. Me, so hold me accountable, dude. Nah, don't worry about it, dude. Let me go. Right now, I should just make a citizen's arrest, really and truly. You want I don't, try? I don't you even try? know if you're a cop. Go ahead. I don't even try know if you're a cop. Try to arrest me. Should, can I make it a citizen's arrest? You know, I do recall one time that there was a frauder that attempted a citizen's arrest on the average citizen, and uh, it didn't work out too well for him. So you may want to go consult accountability for all uh, about the time he spent in prison. For that kind of stupidity, I mean, they did charge him with impersonating an officer at that point, among other things. So, yeah, I would love to see you try, but I don't think you'd like the results.
This, this guy's not behaving like a cop. Impersonating a police officer. Okay. It's a real thing. Okay. Don't do that no more. Okay. Don't be on your personal no, phone. I'll be on my You've been phone. checked. No, You've I been checked. No, I haven't. You've been nah, checked. Don't, worry about it. don't, don't do that no more. Nah, nah, I don't want to see it no more. You're going to see all right? it. All right? You're going to see it again. I don't want to see it no more. I'm going to come through this station all the time. Don't do it no more. Look, I'm on my phone again. Man, I'm on my phone. Look, I'm on my phone. You're going to arrest me, right? You see this guy? Go ahead, Breaking the law. Right in front of you. You know you don't have a duty just to enforce the law on citizens. If you see anybody breaking the law, you see. You sure? Sorry, don't. Right now it's him. Who's in this? No, the New York State, New York State law is that if I ask you for your business card, and certain circumstances, you can't be arrested. New York State law is that if I ask you for your business card, and certain circumstances. Well, well, looky what we've got here. We've got a genuine YouTube law enforcement officer. Oh, boy. But you know what? If you really want to go uh, enforcing the laws, uh, why don't you just go ahead and go to the uh, police academy and go through the training and became, become a proper law enforcement officer? officer because at least that way you'd actually have a job now i don't know if they'd accept you based on your criminal record but hey maybe you can get a waiver or something like that i don't know at any rate you'd be a lot more productive as an officer than uh whatever it is you're doing right now well i saw him on his personal phone i asked him for his business card he refused to give it do it i asked him for his supervisor i didn't refuse i don't have one to give you you have to have one. i'm sorry you feel law. so hurt about it's it the law, and you just got one with my information law. it's not good I enough don't worry about it i see it don't do it no more, i just right? did it again i'm gonna be walking through here and i'm gonna be checking go ahead behave you yourself me. no right? i won't behave yourself. no i won't you're i don't want to see it no more you're very disrespectful i don't want to see it anymore if i wasn't in uniform you would never approach me like this you wouldn't approach anybody like this you sure? see crime mm -hmm. happening you on sure? the train all the time and you never take out your you sure? this, You want to know why you guys were getting kicked in the head in, this, in Times Square? Because you behave in this manner. That's why immigrants were just kicking you, you guys in the head. Because you guys aren't tough. You're very you gotta, you you gotta have, have respect day. and you gotta conduct you, yourself yeah, like no a police time officer. Have I disrespect you. you have a good day. Yeah, you did. You have a good day. Oh yeah, you want these officers to respect you, but you sure as hell don't want to respect them. You do realize that well, respect is a two-way street. In order to get respect, you got to give respect. And, uh, well, uh, from what I've seen of you frauditors over the years, you don't give one ounce of it to anybody. Not even each other. You did, sir. You have a good day. And don't do it no you more. have a good day. Don't do it no more. I'll do it again. So I'm not having a good day because you're still you on my day. tax dollars behaving in this manner. have a good day. You gonna you gonna report this to your supervisor? And well, everybody, the video suddenly ends right there for no reason given by the frauditor. Maybe the uh, officer roasted him even harder, and he just could not take it because the frauditor is a but hurt little moron. That's one little possibility right there. Yeah, that definitely could be one of the situations right there. But hey. Frauditor, why don't you try actually getting a job? If you know the law so much or think you do, then, uh, well, take advantage of that and uh, show them how the law works. But at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?